let's get this up here and check what they're saying anyway. So this is it, right? 13 best London streetwear stores and sneaker stores, right? Because I would imagine just off the top of my head, there's probably more sneaker stores than there is streetwear stores, right? I'd, I'd say so. Wouldn't you say so? I'd say there's more than that. Than, I'd say so anyway. Let's, let's play this video and see what they're saying. This is a Soul Supply London store, guys. I knew that... Oh, I hate them already. <laughs> I hate them already. It really shouldn't matter, though, really, should it? It really shouldn't matter. But in my head, I'm like, so what? You've been buying Yeezys for like four years. And all of a sudden, you're giving people sneak away street. Oh, man. That's one thing we didn't do that well in, did we, in streetwear. The bar of entry is quite low, isn't it? You just got to buy stuff, in it, And you're involved straight away. There is no... And again, I remember when I used to be on in street... Like, streetwear used to be fucking horrendous, man. I used to get bullied on forums for the stuff I used to buy. Like, fits I'd wear. Like, you no, know, they were mean, mate. They were brutal. Now, if you go on Basement or you go on some of these style pages where they post people's fits, they're really supportive for the most part, right? Kids are really nice. They really give you each other encouragement. They, you know, they're suggesting things people should wear. Back in the day, they didn't suggest nothing. They'd suggest that you go and jump out of a window. They didn't want to give you any tips. And now you got these. Oh, God. Anyway. What am I saying? What do I want people to be more mean and make things more harder for everyone else? Yes, I do actually. I do. I do. That's what I'm saying. All right. It was difficult for me. I cried at home because I got bullied online from from, from fucking 35 year olds when I was 15. But you know, whatever. Here we go. The best place is to cop your crepes in this. Ah, cringe! Cop your crepes. Come on, brother. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Oh, he's <laughs> dead, man! <laughs> ah, he's dead, man! Where are they going? Where are they taking on that? I never be able to watch this whole thing. It's going to be so cringe. But again, bless these guys. It's no, it's no shade to those guys at all, right? You're doing your thing, but again, it's just funny to me, right? It's just for comedic purposes. This is not intended to be mean or anything. Um. Please excuse. I can't help but laugh at these things because I just find it so ridiculous. You know, I grew up. I grew up with this stuff. I've seen the most wankiest of wankiest dudes, and I guess sometimes we just see the same caricatures being reinterpreted or come back to life again. It's just like, wow, man, these people, th these guys are still like this. It hasn't changed. They ha they are not. They're not less corny. They're as corny as I imagined they would be. It's just like, wow. Anyway, let's continue. And nothing wrong being corny either, you know? Do your thing. Right we are at End Store, just down the road from Carnaby Street. Ideal location, central, central. Uh, and this is where it's uh, only come down here last year. And what are you thinking about the store? I mean, it looks amazing from the outside. Like, you really notice this from all angles. It is one of the best stores in this area. So Not hard to do that, really, is it? Not hard to be the best store around Carnaby Street, really. Come on, if you're selling trainers, right? No? Not that difficult. You, you got to compete with size. Like, come on, man. Like, one of the best doors. All right, cool. What better than fucking shoe? Better than better than, better than that, eh? Better than office. It's not really hard to do, really, is it? It's fucking Carnaby Street, man. It's the lowest common denominator. Let's get inside the There's store. a monkey down the road, mate. Like, come on. What the fuck do you think? So as soon as you come in, this is the contemporary section. This Ooh, contemporary stripes, stripe, side bags. Project. Look at that mannequin. You know, that's, that's why I don't like wearing bomber jackets anymore. The staple, the thing I like to wear, but immediately everything on that kind of mannequin I will not wear. Bucket hat, bomber jacket, hoodie, side bag. <sighs> We're such sheep, aren't we? CDG play, yeah. But we're not talking the big, big brands. We're talking Acne Studios once again, Axel Arigato, Common Projects. All them shoes you can get into a club in. This is the section you need. Get into a club in. Who wants to. Brother, man, what are, what are these people? Who are these people? Who are these people? Shoes you want to get into a club in? Why don't you just wear shoes if you're going to go to a. I don't know, that kind of club? Or just not wear those. Well, you can't go into a club wearing Yeezys. Show me a club in London that I won't yet let you in your Yeezys. And I'll show you a club that's losing money. Right, I, f I don't. I don't think there's a night out in in London, especially in that side of London, in central London, where there isn't a time where somebody's going to walk into a nightclub with a pair of Yeezys on, whether they're an investment banker, whether they're a roadman, whether they're a DJ, whether they're an artist, influencer. There's not a night out in London where no one's wearing not one pair of Yeezys, and they're going to be the night, especially a clean pair. If, if, if you know, fair enough, you're not wearing a pair of Yeezys that you wear when you go and play football with your mates in a park and shit. But come on. Yeezys, really? Yeezys, you, you have to wear Acne Studios, you have to wear Common Projects to go to a nightclub? What the, what kind of nightclub are you going to, mate? Bloody hell. 
found stuff I like already. Just from walking in, there's a nice APC hoodie over there. Literally, I found something that I want to buy straight. Literally, did you? You found an APC hoodie in a in a store in a store like Enclover. You found it. I'm I'm so, I'm shocked and surprised that you'd find an APC in end. Really shocked. Wait, and a wallet in the glass <laughs> container. But the best thing about this place, this is only the bottom floor. There's two floors of yeah, it's, it's huge. huge. It's yeah. all real. Yeah. So as we walk around, as you can see, everything's. <laughs> Have these guys never been to a shop before? Is this like a, a, a fucking paid piece or some shit? It's unreal that there's two floors in one of the biggest stores in London. Um, you know, one of the biggest online stores in the UK suddenly opens up a shop, stocks it with all the brands they have online. And you're surprised that they have been able to afford such a big space. It's like, they've been doing the damn thing for a while, haven't they, End in Newcastle? No, they've been smashing it for ages. Their store in Newcastle, I think, is even bigger than this one. Style. We have mirrors everywhere, we have the concrete look, the wood. Jockey is shopping while we're here, he's enjoying himself. <laughs> Some people call this work, like, I don't personally, you get to shop on your own. The cringe levels are just so high right now! Brands such as Sumi and Mopsy collaborate with Travis Scott all on this floor, CP Company. One walk into our floor, Georgie. Yeah, yeah, no, don't worry, we're, we're both fans, fans of the Stony. That's upstairs. Of course. <laughs> of course, the Barristone. Oh, jeez, every day. Is there? Is there? Any... Nah, I'm not keeping it. We keep it Stony. We keep it, keep it stony, stony. We keep it stony. Yeah, yeah, but look, really, really nice. nice stuff. Oh man, look. look. So, and always nail it, don't they? Like, I like this backpack. No, they don't always nail it. Why do you say that they always nail it? They just buy all the brands that are out there on the, on the markets, put up what sells, put it put up online. If it sells, they double in and kind of buy more for the next season. They don't necessarily have a... I don't go to end for, you know, forward-thinking brands, right? They don't introduce me to new pieces. I'm not like, oh, shocked that they've got this piece in. Everything that you'd expect end to have, they have. It's not the most forward-thinking brand in the world, right? If anything, it's the it's probably the, it's probably the, the best version of commercial menswear streetwear that exist out at the moment right it's just that they just do it in a really clever way they appeal to like you know I, i'd assume footballers can go there rappers can go there influencers could go there actually people involved in the industry can go there so you know it's a pretty generic space i don't necessarily get ood and art i'm never on the in clothing side like whoa man they got that branded like come on relax i, I like, like this duffel bag, bag. <laughs> I, quite I quite like, like this backpack, backpack. All right, no, we've got to skip this. I quite like okay. Yeah, okay, cool. We've got to skip some of this stuff. This, I don't know what this yeah, guy's talking about. Yeah, yeah, as you guys may already know, end are famous for their launches, launches.endclothing.com. Launches um, They're famous for launching shoes that no one can get, having a convoluted registering system, um, um, you know, having launches for shoes that people don't even think is a launch. Um, they're launched, they're famous for that shit. It's just bullshit. It's just a way for them to gather your data and send you fucking nondescript um, uh, promotional emails that you ignore and fill into spam. Simple thing. Data gathering. That's what they're famous for. They have been killing the game when it comes to high heat releases for a lot of years now. But if you want to get your hands on some instant heat when you're in London... Ah, stop with this, man. Cop, creps, instant heat, high level what? Shut up, man. Fuck. All the best accounts, the only accounts around. There's no other accounts out. What other accounts are there? The best accounts out. Like, what other accounts are there? They've got the, the accounts that you see on your fucking Instagram discovery. What else other accounts do they have? The best accounts. As you know, we're not only a trainer page, but we do like focus on our streetwear. So this is also the streetwear section, so you have brands like Off White, Heron Preston, Carhartt, or... Hello, all I mentioning streetwear, and the first thing you mentioned is Off White, Heron Preston, and Carhartt. Did they have any other brands there apart from those bait free? Like, come on, man. God almighty. Fuck off. What fuss was it? But then we've got brands such as Alexander McQueen, so it's got such a nice blend of things high heat reach. What's high heat? What the fuck is this phrase, high heat? High heat? What the fuck is this, man? What's what's this word turned into? What's a high heat item? Is there high heat, mid heat, low heat? What is that? What is low heat Reebok? Is mid heat, um, I don't know. What's what's high heat? Acne, because they keep mentioning that all the time. Low heat is Reebok, and mid heat is what? Champion? What? What are you found that? that? Is that bro? I haven't even seen this. This is pretty rowdy, isn't it? The material's really nice. Oh, rowdy, fuck off! Couldn't trust. Well, that's why you're lucky. You of course, of course, one of the dudes is wearing pinrolls and footscapes. Of course, but of course he is. But of course he's wearing pinrolls and footscapes. 
Of course. Oh fucking good. Oh, re oh, React 87s. Even more. Even more obvious. Oh god. Oh, god. Yeah. yeah. How many, how, how, many many pairs, covered, man? how many pairs of these have you seen recently? Like, Ender got a good. And I bet you got ten of them, mate. How many pairs of those? Um, he's talking about the Alexander McQueen <laughs> platform Stan Smiths. I'm pretty sure he's got eleven of them. He looks, he looks like a guy that would wear skin tight jeans with holes in the knees, and I don't know, and seventeen colours wears that same shoe. Come up from, but uh, it was Love Island. Let us know if you agree. Smile. Japanese labels are real nice. Love. A quick thing I want to. Like what? What like Japanese label? Let us know if you agree in the comments below. And why is he walking backwards like that for? I don't like. Is that that? Is that? Are they taking permission for the Kim Kardashian thing where she kept walking backwards? Just walk. Just walk and turn your head around, or walk towards the thing you're saying. And I don't. What's this? What's what's the what's with the walking backwards thing? This is like the Kim Kardashian seventy three or whatever hundred million questions they also invoke. Walking backwards, like, it's, a, it's a bizarre. Just walk forward, like, and just. <laughs> and then we're the place to come. There are no better places to shop for cool accessories. I can find quite a lot of places to shop better than that to go and get accessories in. Like, really, for sure. No better place, really. No better place in Hall of London. Let's skip this a bit. This is getting on my nerves already. Go to the next door. Let's get out. my heart, personally. These guys are the reason I love sneakers, and it was one of the first sneaker shops in central London. Offering you the highest heat from Nike, Adidas, and everyone else. Highest heat? Why is the highest heat? Where is this phrase? The central visit. And they also do some really cool events, such as the All Gone launch. All gone is a book that you guys need to be. What's wrong with you? As you can see, either side of me, crept absolutely everywhere. So don't be expecting to come down here paying £120 for a pair of off whites. It's not going to happen. To my right, you've got the four. Or smiles on their faces. And, um, you know, being able to see shoes that you've seen probably on the internet before and not physically uh, is always a great feeling for them. And, you know. And we're going to try to sell the item during that period of time, the, of contract, um, the 30 days. Uh, we're jogging onto the street where it's in. This shop opened in 2015 and it's covered in my shop for heat, alright? So, you probably not going to lie to you. And Fox logo is there on me. They're going to be gone on that Thursday. But it's all they've We're now in Brewer Street in the heart of Soho outside Palace Skateboards. Founded in two... So they, they didn't even let them. They didn't even let them film in Paris. You see how wanky these guys are, right? They take all the money from these dullards, like these guys, right? These guys that go around and just buy, I don't know, things because some skater wore them, right? They, they're happy to take the money from these kids, happy to kind of have them queuing up, lining their pockets. But in the moment they want to give them love, film a bit in their shop. Guess what they say? No, you're not allowed to film in there. They didn't let. They didn't even let them film in Palace. And you guys go around supporting these sovereign wearing tracksuit bottoms with loafer wearing cunts. Like fuck off. Dumb nuts. This is now Fast forward, Supreme's obviously on the refurb, so they couldn't go in there. Sneakers and stuff. We're not here. It's sneakers and stuff, London. This, you know, like the MX Deluxe, the one, the ninety. Good hands in here, and the staff are nice as well. They're really good people. And let's swear, and Piccadilly Circus, the crepes you want to be buying. And then did you all come through? And you guys are currently doing the camp. Okay, I can't anymore. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do this anymore. This is too cringe. All right, cool. Um, that's too cringe. I, I I feel for you guys out there, um, sneakerheads and streetwear people who are out there trying to uh, forge a community and go to these events, whether they're sneaker cons, whether they're sneaker markets, whether it's store launches. I feel for you because these stores are garbage. The people that, especially the ones that are forward thinking, aren't necessarily trying to have you guys in there anyway because they're you know they're a little bit ashamed that they've got hype these fans are basically paying their rent for the most part case in point palace right they're probably ashamed that they have these kids as fans but you know they can't stop taking their money no problem about that whatsoever but i think in general it's a hard time to be a sneaker fan and have this be your scene they're all kind of sterile places no real personality no real direction there's probably the same shoes in each fucking store right there's no real direction of what they're buying nothing different than what it is Everything's limited nowadays because the brands are trying to fleece the kids out of their money and actually give them good products. Uh, the brands themselves don't really care about the community themselves. They flood the market with um, limited edition shoes, which then inflates the resale price of stuff. It's just an all cyclical game that all the kids are buying into for some reason because they will want to get a little bit of a come up on their resale value. I'm not involved in it. I stay out of it. I've already made my friends and my connection I need to make. I stay out of it. I'm on the outside looking in. I buy myself online. I'm an older dude. I don't necessarily need to make friends in this scene. And in general, I think it's an interest that I have. I don't, you know, my whole world doesn't revolve around it. I don't need to be in and around this scene to kind of feel like um, I'm taking part. 
I can just take part from buying the things that I'm buying, being interested in what I'm interested in, going to exhibitions, all this sort of stuff that is maybe closely adjacent to, but not is actually associated with. That's good enough for me. And even if I didn't have that, just buying the stuff anyway that I like to wear and going about my everyday life is good enough for me. But I feel, I feel, I feel for the kids nowadays. I think the most that they can do is stuff like the basement, which is good. I'm happy to see that. That's a real great community. It's again, it's a bit, it's a bit juvenile. It's a bit young for my liking, but I like to see how um, encouraging the kids are. I like to see how amazing and supportive they are. If someone gets lost and doesn't have any money, they all send money. They all send them PayPal for peace to get home on time. Like just great kids overall. Um, or really good. Um, attitudes and stuff whatever it may be and very supportive but for me personally i don't want anything to do with it whatsoever it's it's just print central um i'm not trying to stand it i'm not trying to talk to somebody that's talking to you about highest heat and telling me what cop what crap i'm about to cop like oh god almighty just saying it out of my lips